Hello everybody and welcome to Mods of the Week. Uh, today I'll be reviewing five mods. The Umagard 99 on armor compilation. Live Another Life, which is an alternative start. Knight's Watch Armor from Game of Thrones. Guardian Imperial White Run House and Quality World Map. I think the first mod that I'll start off with is the um, Knight's Watch Armor and review that for you. Okay, so this is the Knight's Watch Armor from the Game of Thrones. It's a very nice piece of armor. It was taken from The Witcher 2 and then retextured to make it look like the Knight's Watch Armor. Uh, if you look carefully, uh, the chainmail just looks superb. It goes very, very nicely. It's very high quality and the uh, bag or satchel, whatever you want to call it, has a very nice effect as the health potions. Um, and the gloves as well are very, very good. Um, I've, it has that uh, plating on the um, wrists there, and the dark like slip-on gloves look very nice over the top of it. Even the knee guards, they have been very, very nicely constructed. They look very high quality when it um, comes to uh, footwear. As you can see, there was no expense taken anywhere. It looks absolutely divine here. The arm as a whole, though, is just very, very nice. The only downside I have at the moment is that... Uh, as it was pulled from the Witcher 2, you can still see that Witcher symbol around his neck. But hopefully they will be able to sort this out quickly. But uh, I'm going to be doing a single mod review on the Witcher overhaul soon. It is a very, very good mod, very well put together. And I'll be constantly reviewing it and up when it updates. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the Emirograd 99 armor compilation. Uh, I'm not sure how that's how you um, pronounce his name, but he has done an absolutely superb job. Well, I think he done better than the Knight's Watch armor just because he had a hell of a lot of armors and they're very high quality. This is my favourite armor he has, which is the Ranger armor. It just looks absolutely divine. Um, I will go through the uh, different armors now. I won't commentate over them, I'll just let you have a look and then I'll review the mod as a whole. Okay, so the mod as a whole, I have got to admit, it's one of my favourite armour compilations of all time. Um, they are just so high quality, and the, and the thing I like is that they're all high quality. And when I mean all, I mean all of them. That the all I didn't actually show every single armour piece that you get with this mod. I did miss a couple out, and I mean for the amount there are. They are superb, and I'm not actually running this at max settings because my computer is going a bit um, dead at the moment. It's going into like overdrive, so I'm going to get a check my um, power wattage and then get a new graphics card hopefully. Um, but back to the mod, it was just so nice. I think out of Oblivion, Fallout, Fallout New Vegas. This is the, my favourite armour compilation I've ever had in any game, to be honest. Um, so the next one I'll probably show is uh, the Guarded Imperial Right Run House. Okay, so the next mod is the uh, Guarded Imperial Right Run House. And basically it just adds Imperials to guard your house. Uh, and it does add something inside as well. So when you enter Bree's home, obviously yours is probably might be a bit more decorated, but you'll come across this chest here. When you open it, it will have a key here and a note, and then there's also a note here. Um, and basically, it allows you to have like this basement area. Um, in this basement area, as you'll see in a few seconds, it basically adds like a little imperial headquarters. So here's a mannequin which you can store all of your items on. This is the my retexture and remodel for the Imperial Armour at the moment. Uh, as you can see you have your own little map here. Um, it also has this guard resist... I can't even say the word now. Um, 
just a guard area and all of these followers uh, will follow you including the legit I think uh, who I think isn't they said is a little overpowered at the moment but um, it's just nice to have like, this little headquarters underneath your um, little base area but uh, I'll demonstrate yeah, you can get follow me I need your help uh, they are uh, they all look quite similar but this is a ongoing project and it has like a little kitchen area here as well uh, and it has a jail uh, I don't know if when you go into jail you end up underneath your house uh, that is still uh, needing to be seen or it just adds a, a jail for you to put people in I'm not too sure it's an ongoing mod but that's pretty much for the breeze home uh, the imperial guarded house uh, it is a little uh, buggy at the moment as I said but you can close that so it looks uh, concealed but um, there's only one last mod uh, that I'm going to show you before I do my alternative start one and that's the quality world map okay so the quality world map just adds like roads all around so you can actually plot the way how uh, that you're going to maneuver around the map uh, there's a few versions where you can just get the main roads uh, which will keep in your immersion uh, it does have a classic mode which might which will probably do it even more where it just basically covers this in a in the original oblivion skin so there's no textures on it just a normal one with red outlining the roads it is I chose this version because I do like this style map it is a very good one I do recommend you get it and it just allows you to kind of plot your way around if you're not going to use fast travel which I do in one of my uh, accounts okay so there's only one last one I'm going to show you and that is the live another life uh, alternative start okay so now we're going to do the uh, live another life mod. Um, this just allows you to skip the Helgen starting error if you wish but you can actually choose that from the starting options that you have available to you. So you'll start off here um, wait for my thingy to actually work but you'll start off here and you'll be given a f uh, once you've made your character you'll go to a statue and it'll tell you what you want to do. Um, these included races here I will mention in the next well it won't be the next mod of the week it will be a separate mod because I want to cover it all um, so let's just press uh, ok let's just call it R ok so you see this statue here when you activate it you are given a few uh, choices so you can uh, do the old like it's like the alternative start to Oblivion when you arrive by ship. You can own any of the property in the lands, and I think uh, that also influences the amount of money you have. You can be in a part of a guild uh, that just starts you off at the beginning of a guild with their armor. I think uh, a patron at the local inn. I'm uh, I'm guessing you would just be wearing normal clothes and you would work at the inn or something. Uh, the soldier in the army will allow you to start on either the storm cloaks or the imperial side. And then I got caught crossing the border illegally is actually just a normal start and you'll start out normally. An outlaw in the wild you will just be wearing fur armor and maybe have like a dagger and a bow. Uh, the vigilant stendi will be wearing robes and be a daedra killing person. None of these come with their own personal quests yet but it's just a, no uh, a way to skip the starting area. Uh, I'm camping in the woods, obviously you'll be in the woods camping. I was shipwrecked off the coast, you'll be in a coast with, like, shipwrecked obviously. And a vampire in a secluded layer, you'll start off with all the uh, vampire abilities. I think you're only a starting vampire, uh, I'm not too sure. A necromancer in a secret location, I'm not sure if this is random or not, but it might be. Was attacked and left for dead. Obviously that's quite self-explanatory, but I don't know if you have any equipment or not. And surprise me, we'll obviously choose one of the above. Um, and then once you've done chose your thing, you click activate and then you uh, will go into that. So, just to show you uh, what it can do, I'll do the surprise me. 
uh, and then when I go to bed I should have a completely different start um, to start the uh, quest uh, all you have to do is go to Helgen it even gives you a qu quest map for it Ooh. I'm not sure if I'm a necromancer or a uh, vampire uh, I think I am a vampire by the looks of it so yeah also just another little quick note I wanted to add was you should definitely check out the uh, high resolution eyes they look absolutely superb um, I'll put a link in the description but yeah yeah I'm a vampire <laughs> uh, so yeah please um, like uh, comment and subscribe uh, come back for the next episode soon thank you and goodbye